Here we are at Proenza, and the hair is boyish. I kind of was imagining a boy who combs his hair. It could get those great comb lines in the hair. It gives a toughness to these girls. We're just evening out skin tone, making sure the girls look beautiful, brushing and filling in eyebrows. We're just applying a lid gloss on the eye, and basically that's it, because the Proenza boys always like the girls looking quite boyish. We want to explore the codes of classic American sports or like what are those codes to us. We never really reference clothes on collections. At the season we want to reference actual a genre of clothing and want something that felt local in a way. So we're like, yeah, classic American sports are something that we really respond to. So what's our version of a polo and what's our argyle and what's our plaid and what's our Prince of Wales and what's our parka? We're playing off each other that all season. What is our version of all these iconic pieces? There were a lot of fabrics we developed. We developed a ton of knitwear this season. A very open crochet with metal knitted into it to the more close crochet with a polo -y vibe with leather built into it. That paper leather stuff, it was a mix of solid and perforation. They had a slight more sport kind of feeling, that section of the show. We wanted something that felt almost like a windbreaker or like a anorak, but obviously elevated and pushed. And we, so we developed this leather that's paper thin and quite crispy. They spray the back and then they do like almost like a nylon finish on it. So it really gives like a nylon kind of feel, but it's all leather. Oh, it was thrilling. Basically, these guys pushed the whole idea of American sportswear forward by like several decades. Even though it was super new, it was pure pleasure to look at it. And I truly believe in 15 years, the show will be historic. There is a cobalt blue leather version of a suit with kind of a sporty influence. I think that one of the big trends of the week has been the sporty look. I guess that's growing out of the fact that athleisure category is the way people are dressing. So translating it into more luxe versions makes sense. Proenza was a tour de force. You know, it's interesting. Jack and Laz love a contradiction, a color palette that felt somewhat fall, which they love to do, and then reintroduce it for the spring season. A lot of luxury on top of just a truly all-American sportswear collection. I was just thrilled when I saw that show. I thought it was awesome. I would wear all of those things. I want to think of things to go to so I can wear that stuff. I was in their studio and the sketches alone are incredible and the fabrics and the attention to detail, they're like true craftsmen. Craft is something that's really important to us and our brand. The idea of mixing technology and sort of things that are really modern and of today with something sort of very old school and handmade. There's always that back and forth between us.